okay let's start our session uh, i need to show two things one is uh, yesterday we missed to do surrogate bidding i found out what is the reason so go to create sourcing project you are seeing my screen right adiba spend management yes this surrogate bid RFP, yes, project no. You can select that search. So, yes, means it is possible to delete. So, this is the one we have created earlier RFP with total cost, our own template. I am using that. Click create. Fix the time. So, 30 minutes to run, estimated tentatively. 20 second click next don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos team here i have not added surrogate bidder that uh yesterday when we are doing it this is the project group the members are surrogate bidders and harikumar harikumar is the username which i am using so harikumar is not part of this group surrogate bidder is a group in that like sourcing manager if you are clicking you will find out the group members like that he is not a member in this surrogate team so since he is not a member of the surrogate bid he is unable to participate as a surrogate bidder or the person whoever there in surrogate bidder group they can when they are running or uh, then acting this event they will able to do that part so go to suppliers invite participant Invite another participant. Now I can take any supplier. For example, so, uh, while creating the request, we need to specify if it is yes. a surrogate Correct. bidding. Okay. No, you need to add uh, who is authorized to okay. act on behalf. On behalf of the company, will not give the person who is creating the sourcing request to allocate as a surrogate bidder. So they will assign someone okay. else from other team to act on behalf. So they will give the right. So that person will become part of that group. Okay, someone from the sourcing department uh, who deals with the sourcing activities. Yes, or it is the decision of the sourcing manager whom he want to assign a surrogate bidders. So they will be formed yeah. as a group or they will get permissions under surrogate bidder. Let's select supplier for use country. Yes, so while implementation, these details needs to be collected, right? Yeah, yeah. So they will be giving actually. So when uh, they are allowing this, the first thing is whether they allow surrogate bidding or not. If they allow, who are authorized to give that bidding? So that needs to be added in these project members. Either you can include one by one, one person, one person like that. You can include or create a group and assign the users into that group. Always recommended to create a group called surrogate bidders and add the members so that if someone is left, the other members can able to participate. If you are assigning yes. like a Hari Kumar name, if this guy is left, then you need to change the template level. Okay, so as per the purchasing group, it, it depends. It can be uh... correct. I'm adding one line item. Okay, laptop. To monitor this event. So when you go to suppliers, select. So I can select which uh, whom I am acting as a. Suppose this guy I want to act. Click on this. Click on surrogate bidder, or you can click this action surrogate bid. Both the way you can same only. Click it that. Then it will take you to the supplier screen. So this is supplier management. So you are acting on behalf of that supplier. So that supplier. A profile will open so this is the one we are participating in that event so i'm clicking that so i know what is the so same way as like a supplier how he has to perform review prerequisites click ok
also select plot and participating at the line item then it will he can give the price whatever he want to give so this is how surrogate bidding will happen once it is done you need to click stop then you will take back to your sourcing screen so that is one yesterday i have created one group one user i have created let's see yes see and shri uh, so yes. while you log in i okay. have a small doubt so yeah. uh, as per the contract it depends uh, uh, how the po gets generated is it as a quantity based or a price based is it depends on the contract po right yes exactly when we are going to po i will show how we are creating there is a when you are creating a line item we are seeing the amount whether this amounts uh, limits are by quantity or amount or you can use both also when you are doing a receiving you can receive for the quantity or you can receive for the amount also both okay. basic supports okay so because the uh, why i do on the srm it flips out automatically as per the commodity the same code way, so. same. Okay. same way here also the requisition uh, it's called uh, once uh, flip uh, flip uh, once the requisition is approved same details will be in your purchase order also okay so that when we are coming also so i have created one user yesterday now this is the brand new user he don't have any permission and he cannot create anything except my form and he have very limited my to do and receive basic detail he is having now what i am going to do i am going to add him some roles log out go to main is core administration user manager users searching for basic this is the thing i want to tick groups add or remove i am giving internal user this is very basic permission click save let's exit it. or even i can do act as also since i am not having the permission so suppose uh, customer administration will have act as permission so i don't need to log in as a this user i will get an option here click as act as so once that is done then i will able to log in to this user account and i can able to perform whether he has received all the basic configurations or not since i don't have that role now i have to manually change yeah shri just one quick question okay. so here you are uh, creating uh, user ids passwords you know for the demo purpose which is understood but going forward in the real world as an functional consultant to uh, you know like uh, usually in erp we have a security and authorization consultant who works on these you know user ids yeah. and other things yeah so is it same here or is it the p2p consultant has to create roles and users in the riba world or uh, roles and uh, all things are already available in your system so we will okay. be configuring adding the users into those permissions will be done by us only suppose when you are uh, having a project with sourcing you will have the mm -hmm. list of users with the basic permission and who will be having uh, opening the sourcing project permission that and all we only need to give okay we means the functional consultants they yes, have to uh, okay. Correct. Yeah. okay so here you, he has have only sourcing requests he do not have any other permission so sourcing request is the basic thing for internal permission is enough but if we want to have contract request we need to explicitly give the permission card contract user then he can able to create the contract request otherwise he will have only sourcing request permission to create sourcing request don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos personally clear yesterday someone was asking how to do that then there is one more question 
uh, okay someone asked where to see ias for certification of a supplier when you go to the supplier yes. supplier click on certificates so you will see all the certificates under that supplier when we are doing the supplier knowledge that time we will see how to add the supplier and how will this will come but this supplier do not have any certificate otherwise the certificates will appear here you can filter it you can start and it will give you expired and all details also